Welcome back. In our last video, we created a 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter cylinder. In this one, I'm just going to show you how to remove material. So it's exactly the same process we did before. But I'm going to select the top of the cylinder this time. Click sketch. I'm going to reorientate myself to look at the top of that cylinder. I'm going to use a circle. Click in the middle, drag out to any distance and click once more. <coughs> now if you accidentally click more than once, that measurement will disappear. But we can still change the size of this circle by using this tool up here. It's called dimension. I click it once, click once on the outside of my circle, drag out, and then it asks me what measurement I would like that to be. I type in 50. Click enter. Now I'm going to change my orientation, so I'm just going to use the right hand button. It's a little bit out of my view, so I'm going to click isometric and I'm going to click extrude again. Now this time I want to remove some material, so I'm going to click remove and it will automatically know to go in the opposite direction. I'm going to remove 50 millimeters. Deep. And if I have a look, it gives me an idea of where that is, and I can see it's halfway through my cylinder. Now, let's get rid of that. I can click tick, and I've created a cylinder with a hole in it. From here, you can do whatever you want. So, I can click on the surface, click sketch, click top. This time, I'm going to add some pillars to it. So, I'm going to add one there which is 10 millimetres by 10 millimetres. Add another there, 10 millimetres by 10 millimetres. Click Extrude, and these are going to be 100 high. Click Tick, and I've created a shape. 